Welcome to Update Day in Old School. Today's update features some collection log improvements as well as the last adjustments from Pool 74. The first collection log improvement we have is actually a search bar allowing you to find whichever boss or item you want much easier and you can tap this on and off or just press delete to not see the search field entirely as well as the log now has a few new features one of which includes a new counter that shows the total number of unique items obtained as you can see right here on the Dagonoth King where it says obtain 10 of 10 as well as they've now added a toggleable chat slash pop-up notification when a new item has been added to the collection log the color of each section of the log changes based on its completed status, whereas when the boss has been completed it will turn green over here just kind of like how quests do on your quest list. And then different boss modes now have separate kill counts based on their respective interfaces. For example, DKs in the gauntlet and challenge mode Chamber of Xerix will all do this sort of thing where it separates in terms of total Dagonoth King kills as well as Dagonoth Rex, Prime, and Supreme individually. They've also made a few other smaller changes, one of which includes Third Age pieces now having their own separate tab, along with Gilded items being found in the Rare tab for each Clue Scroll category. But now apart from the collection log changes, we now have the adjustments from Pool 74, one of which is the Abyssal Sire will no longer deal damage with a Miasma attack after it has died. You can use a mole claw on the giant mole pet and it will lose its fur and become a pink. And if at any chance you do want it to go back to having fur, you can just put a mole skin back on it and it will be back to normal. For 500 coins, Watson now offers a blueprint that allows you to build a stash tracker in your player owned house. And then finally, TOB has now gained an additional reward chest just outside of the bank booths. And this will allow players to obtain any loot that they forgot to claim after defeating Versic. And now, just like Chambers of Zarek, players will not be able to re-enter the theater and if they do have unclaimed rewards within the chest. And finally, one of the smaller changes this week, they have reduced the timer in the Temporos lobby from 60 seconds to 30 seconds. Nothing major, but could definitely contribute to some extra XP within the hour. And then finally, make sure to get ready for the Kingdom Divided quest because it sounds like it is coming incredibly soon. But that is everything from this week's Old School Update in 3 minutes. If you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful, consider dropping a like. And if you're around here often, subscribe. But with that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.